Well, it's Friday, which means we're joined by our favorite holistic vet, Dr. Gina Quest. And Dr. Q is one of the best vets in our state and works with all sorts of animals and surgery, holistic alternatives, and so much more. She loves to bring her two pups in yeah. studio. We have Mochi and we have Wasabi. They're just we have little pups, over there. too. Just, just little ones. <laughs> yeah, that's why we love them. They fit right up here on stage. Dr. Q, how are you? I'm great. How are you guys? Doing, doing well. Good. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So i got to ask, you're doing something super fun this summer. Yeah. We talked about patio season in our last segment and how proper dog etiquette really does come into play when it comes to patio season. It, but it can, it can be tough. Yeah, it can yeah. be tough. I mean, because a lot of times people want to take their dogs out mm -hmm. on the patio. I mean, how fun to go and have lunch, uh, you know, one of our beautiful patios in Colorado. Yeah. But then, like, how, what do you do if your dog is like tripping the server yeah, right. and <laughs> jumping on the table. Takes and, off with the table, yeah, maybe. Yeah, takes off with the yeah. table, maybe, exactly. Uh -huh. You know, so um, I saw this a lot, and so I was like, you know what, I think it'd be really helpful for people if I just have a patio polite class. I Perfect, and that. we actually had a viewer question, like, how do we sign up for this? Yeah, so definitely it's part of our educational programs through the Rescue Ranch. So let us want to send us an email, info at rescueranch.org, and then that way we can send you, like, the handout that I have built that has, like, the guidelines, what to bring, okay. you know, and all that, but it's 3 o'clock at Parkside Cafe in Evergreen. Perfect. Nice. So to those viewers, we'll have all that information on our website. If you just want to click Dr. Q's segment, we'll have it all there for you at kwgn.com. But you also have a full schedule of summer programs. You are so busy, Dr. Q. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. So we have a full schedule. So if you look at our event calendar on the we on the website, it's pretty much good to go. Um, we're having a two days a week, train the trainer for people that want to come and learn how to be positive reinforcement mm -hmm. horse trainers. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to have open houses the first Sunday of every month. And then all kinds of other classes, nature walks and meditations and bonding and all kinds of fun, amazing stuff. And we need instructors. Ooh. So if anybody that's out there that would love to come and paint with horses or do basic music with horses, anything like that, we would love for them to come and uh, join a class with us. Is this on your property too? It is. Oh, yeah. nice. Gosh, yeah. and it's beautiful, everybody. All right, yeah. well, Doc, we got another question here from uh, a viewer. In fact, here it is. One of my outdoor pond koi fish is not eating like the others and is laying on the bottom of the pond a lot. And there it is. You can see it on the screen. What should I do about it? Well, it's definitely pond season, right? These koi fish have been sleeping in a pseudo hibernation all winter. Now the water's, water's warmed up. And so they're coming uh, awake again and swimming and eating and things that they haven't been doing all winter. And so it's really common that if they went to sleep with any kind of a health problem, parasites mm -hmm. or bacterial skin infections, anything like that, um, then their, their immune systems are really decreased. And so um, when they start to wake up and start to stimulate their immune system, they sometimes will get sick. So when you have one fish that's doing something like that. It could be any number of things, um, like that I already mentioned, uh, parasites, sore, disease, different kinds of diseases. So the best thing to do is definitely give us a call and let us know what's going on. Maybe send us some pictures or a video, and then we can determine if the best thing to do is actually bring the fish into the hospital, sure. or if it makes more sense for me to go out and do a house call. And that's something that you do, house calls, yeah, a pond, lot, actually. Pond call. Pond yeah. calls. <laughs> yeah, the yes. water calls. <laughs> yes. Dr. Q, thanks for coming in. Yes, We really absolutely. appreciate what yeah. you're doing. She's looking for volunteers for her ranch, too. So if you're interested, contact her. The ranch is beautiful. Remember, if you have a question also for Dr. Q about animals, holistic care, you name it, she wants to answer it. Simply write into our show at GreatDayColorado at KWGN.com. Next time we have Dr. Q in studios, which is typically on Fridays, she will answer those questions right here on air. You know, I'm looking over your daughter, Zen, right? Yeah. She brought in what, Ricky, I think, is the, the cat. Kitty. I love I love kitties, yeah. and it's a, it's a really cute cat. So for more information about Aspen Park Vet Hospital, go to uh, drqandyou.org or rescueranch.org. You can also check out Dr. Q's YouTube channel called The One Dr. Q, or give her a call at 303-838-3771. Thanks to Aspen Park Vet Hospital and the Rescue Ranch for sponsoring this segment.